Alright Shady, today I'm going to take a look at corner mirrors or retro reflectors. Now the basic designs of these can vary from one piece to the other, but their principles and their purpose are pretty much the same, and that's to return light to its original light source. So let's take a closer look. This design is called a corner cube mirror because it's shaped like the corner of a box. Now it's actually made from three mirrors that are set right angles to each other. The incident or incoming ray hits the first mirror, reflects to a second, possibly to a third, before traveling back towards the original source. To see this a little bit better, I've set up a laser named it at a corner cube reflector that's about 10 feet away. Next, I'll turn out the lights and I'll sprinkle a little bit of dust so we can see the laser beam as it strikes the corner cube mirror and then is reflected back. I can even move the corner cube mirror around a little bit and as long as that laser beam hits the mirror, it'll reflect back towards the original source. Now let's look at it from the laser's viewpoint. Here we see the beam traveling towards the mirror, being reflected and then coming back towards us. Now let's put one together. These pieces are from a one foot square mirror that was cut diagonally. I'll use a little bit of tape to hold them together. I'll match the corners up. And then use duct tape to hold the ends together. Add the third mirror. Use additional tape. And then I'll also tape the other ends together. And it needs to be checked with a square just to make sure that the angles are set 90 degrees from each other. And there we have it. Now what's interesting about looking into the corner cube is that no matter how I turn it, I'll always be able to see myself. And my dominant eye will be seen right in the center where those three mirrors meet. Now if I close that eye, my face will shift over so that my other eye is then seen directly in the center. And when I open it, my face shifts back again. We can see the same type of results when I look into the corner cube with the camera lens. No matter how I rotate it, we always see that lens right in the center of the three mirrors. Now I can find the same behavior in this bicycle reflector and safety vest. Even the stick on this chemical cabinet will act as a retro reflector when I turn off the lights. Once again, the light comes in, strikes two surfaces, and then goes directly back out towards the light source. We can find reflective material used quite extensively in road signs. Now during the daytime, it doesn't make much difference, but at nighttime, it'll really help this sign to light up. If you feel the surface in the older signs, you can actually feel the reflective beads that are embedded in the paint. They're called microbeads. They actually reflect light just like the corner cube does. It kind of feels like sand, only they're round. As the light enters each bead, it's refracted. It's then reflected off the back edge of the sphere. It refracts a second time and then returns back towards the light source. Those microbeads are like tiny little marbles. Now let's try these in the dark. They light up pretty good. Now I made my own stop sign. I thought I'd use the marbles to spell out the word stop, and then I'm going to use the microbeads all along the edge. Now let's see if this behaves the same way as the one we saw outside. Wow, I was really surprised at how bright this sign appears. I can look at it from an angle, I can look at it from a distance, on the left side, on the right side, and as long as I have the light with the camera, it appears nice and bright. Here we're looking at the sign straight on, but the light source is coming from the left. Notice how dull the sign seems. That's because the light is being reflected towards the left. When I go to the left and stand by the light source, the sign seems nice and bright. Another place we see retro reflection are in the eyes, either animals or humans. We commonly call it red eye, but it's simply the eyeball reflecting light back out towards the light source. Thank you.